हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 144 A cyber security experts claim that a database of 3.8 billion phone numbers is up for sale on the dark web. The allegations came days after the clubhouse dropped its invite only status. Clubhouse denied these claims and said that these are the random phone numbers. Micromax is announcing the Micromax in 2B smartphone on July 30th in India. It will be the fourth in series phone from the brand after the Micromax in Note 1, in 1B and in 1. Prior to the launch, the corporate has released a teaser video to reveal its design and color variants. The upcoming in 2B are available in three colors like black, green and blue. The rear shell of the device incorporates a rectangular shaped camera module that houses two cameras and an LED flash. The fingerprint scanner and the speaker grill are available on the back side of the device its right edge has a volume buttons and an influence key The Tecno Power Tool launch date in India is on August 2nd. The key specifications include a Helio G85 processor, 48 megapixel quad rear camera and a 7000 mAh battery. The smartphone will go on sale in Indian market exclusive via Amazon India. Realme teases Magdart charging which is expected to be similar to Apple MagSafe. The mention of flash in the teaser image suggests that it could adapt Realme Dart charging technology. Realme JT series phone could come with a Magdart charging support. Realme launched the Realme GT 5G flagship in China. It is absolutely was made official in global market some months later. Today the Realme India and Europe CEO Madhav Sir took to Twitter to see the arrival of recent Realme GT series smartphones in India. Realme X9 Pro has appeared on MIT TINA certification. This phone bears the model number RMX3381. Realme X9 Pro will have a 6.5 inch AMOLED display and can pack a 4880 mAh battery with 65 watt fast charging. The camera features a 64 plus 8 plus 2 megapixel rear camera and a 32 megapixel of front cam. If we talk about the RAM and storage, it comes about 6 GB RAM, 8 GB RAM and 12 GB RAM variants. and for the storage of around 128 or 256 gb storage Poco X3 GT battery and camera specifications revealed through some new posters. The phone comes with a 5000 mAh battery and a 64 megapixel triple camera. Poco X3 GT is set to launch in Malaysia on July 28. A new report from China claims that Redmi is working on a new smartphone called the Redmi K40G. Redmi K40G will have a Snapdragon 870 processor. Redmi has posted a teaser images of the event date at 27 July at 10 AM CST. Xiaomi is anticipated to launch the Redmi K50 series later this year. The flagship Redmi smartphone series was teased previously. It is claimed to supply a better screen quality and faster charging speeds. Some details of the flagship Redmi K series phones have been leaked online. The upcoming devices from the Xiaomi sub-brand will draw power from the Qualcomm Snapdragon 895 processor under the hood. And a tipster also claimed that the devices will feature a 67W fast charging support. The BlackBerry brand has seen a component of onward mobility portfolio since August 2020 and we have heard nothing but promises from the brand bright BB smartphone since. Today the corporate launched a pre-commitment program suggesting a distant handset might finally get on the way. The program is admittedly a subscription list for partners and fans who are wishing to be able to receive product feature and availability updates before the general public. The landing page on Onward Mobility website also said these people and organization can provide direct input and influence features and functionality Acer has been within the Indian marketplace for quite a while. It is widely known brand within the country when it involves PCs, laptops, monitors and other products related to computing as well. Acer may additionally start offering smart TVs in India very soon. Acer is going to launch the expansion of smart TVs within the Indian market across various price segments. While anything is confirmed that that Acer could launch a smart TVs between 32 inches to 55 inches. As per the leaks, the Acer smart TV may be launched within the Indian market before for this Diwali so we are assuming that the Asus Smart TV launch date is somewhere around August HP Victor's affordable gaming laptops have been launched in India. Key specifications include an AMD Ryzen or Intel Tiger Lake processor and Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060 or Radeon RX 5500M graphics card and a 16-inch 144Hz full HD screen. HP Victor's price in India starts at Rs 64,999. 
Lenovo announcing the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro gaming laptop in India. The laptop will have Lenovo Gamer Centric Legion Ultimate support, which offers specific support services meant for gamers. It will run on AMD's Ryzen 7 5000 series processor and will sport up to 140 watt NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics chip inside. This laptop starts at rupees 1,39,999, while the Lenovo Legion Ultimate support will start at rupees 999. According to the new renders of the Samsung S Pen case for the Galaxy Z Fold 3, these images confirm that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 will support an S Pen and the Samsung will launch an official S Pen case for this device. Galaxy Z Fold 3 launch date is set for August 11, where the Galaxy Unpacked event 2021 is going to host it on the same day. Earlier today, Hawaii officially announced that it might be launching the new smart screen V75 Super on 29 July 2021. This can be the company's first TV to spot a mini LED display and might support the Harmony OS 2.0. Motorola H20 series launch date has been set for August 15th in China. The H20 has shown up on the Geekbench running a Snapdragon 778 processor, 8GB RAM and it runs on Android 11. H20 Pro with model number XT21531 has been certified by the NTBC. Realme 8i and 8s India launch have been taped. The former will arrive as a successor to the Realme 7i. Realme 8i have received Colombian TKD and IMEA, EEC and TINA certifications. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.